In this video, I'm going to show you a Planner 5D tutorial. So if you're new to home design or interior decorating, Planner 5D is a fantastic tool to help you create professional quality designs. No prior design experience needed. So in this guide, I'll walk you through the basics of Planner 5D, covering how to get started, build your first room, customize spaces, and explore the 3D viewing features. So first, what is Planner 5D? Planner 5D is an easy-to-use home design software that allows anyone, professionals, or beginners to design, furnish, and visualize home interiors and exteriors. It offers both 2D and 3D views, and has an intuitive drag and drop interface for building layouts. You can design spaces such as living rooms, kitchens, offices, or outdoor patios with the extensive library of furniture and decor items. So Planner 5D is available both online and through mobile apps, making it accessible from anywhere. You can also render high quality 3D images to better visualize the final results. So now let's get started on creating an account. So just simply click here on sign up. And I recommend simply using this uh, Google account. I'm just going to sign in with my Google account. And as you can see, it will automatically be redirected to Planner 5D's dashboard. So now from here, let's first uh, look at the top. So you will see this products right here. We have this interior design software, Planner 5D Pro, AI interior design tools, mood boards, 360 walkthrough, AI floor plan converter, and also this higher eight designer. And these are all of the platforms that is supported by Planner 5D. Next is resources. So you can see all of the resources right here for courses in order to learn how to design. So as you can see, they have this online interior design school, interior design blog, interior design battle, and the help center. You can also see explore section right here, such as higher end interior designer, floor plans gallery, furniture shop, home repair estimator. Next, we'll also have enterprise right here and the pricing. So from here, uh, you'll be first redirected in the all projects section. So you'll see all of the projects right here. So these are template projects. So these are pre-made uh, projects for you. Next, we can go to contest design. So as you can see, we have this loft interior style right here. Let's try clicking on it. As you can see, you can either join here or simply vote. So these are all of the uh, designs created by other person or other people. So let's just go back to our dashboard. Next, we have this all renders feature. Uh, let's just wait for it. So I think uh, we still don't have any uh, items right here because we don't haven't created any projects yet. So as you can see, we also have all texture. So you can upload images right here. And this features such as mood boards, um, this mood boards, the design generator, specs for budgeting, and documents are all features for the pro version. We also have archived right here. So now let's move on to creating a new project. So basically if you want to create a blank, so you can see it right here, eight room design and interior decor with 2D and 3D without any special skills. So you can either start from scratch, you can uh, use the smart wizard, you can upload a plan, they have pre-made templates or hire a designer. So I suggest uh, you use the pre-made templates. So let's say you want to design your bedroom. Let's just select bedroom right here. 
wait for the project to load and as you can see this is how it will look like in 2d you can also adjust it to 3d and you will also see this guide right here you can add windows and doors so just simply click or drag and drop to add it to the room so let's say i want to add a window as you can see i'm just going to click right here on the windows i'm just going to drag and drop as you can see i can add it right here you can also add furniture so let's say i want to add a furniture So let's say I want to add a uh, armchair just beside the uh, bed. So you can see they have a bunch of different armchair types right here. If I want to add this, just going to uh, let's drag and drop it right here. You can also change the position. Just going to delete this. Just click, drag can change the position too. You can see you can also flip it vertically, flip it horizontally, and you can center it again, or even duplicate it. And of course, you can add in the styles, such as the color. So now we can also toggle this between 2D and 3D views. So for 3D, this is how it will look like. So this is the product tour. So I just uh, finished the five out of five steps for the quick introduction. So that's basically how you can design uh, your house right here. So you can simply select the items if you want to remove it. You can add new items right here, simply search for it. So let's say, of course, I already created this. Uh, we have this. A curtain right here. If you want to remove the curtain, just simply delete. Also, just going to delete this windows right here. Let's say I want to add a good window. Let's say this one. I'll just move it. So if uh, if you're having a hard time adding items in 3D mode, you can always switch back to 2D. So sometimes people are more comfortable uh, adding or working with the 2D version instead of the 3D. So you can just simply uh, use the 3D if you're already if you already want to see the finish or end product. Can see I'm also having a hard time using 3D. So just use 2D if you want. So I suggest you just uh, explore through all of the uh, items or the uh, like I said the items right here. Just explore and edit uh, your uh, bedroom or your house yourself. So that's basically how you can do it using Planner 5D. So if you find this video helpful, please hit like and subscribe. Thanks.